Randy here doing cut and trim. I've been working on my company website, getting everything ready for the upcoming lawn season, and uh, was trying to think of ways I could get my website to stand out. And I decided I really wanted to really make more of a concerted effort to get customers' information so that I can market to them, or, or just get information from prospective customers so that I can market to them and uh, make the conversion process easier. And uh, so, like, I have a request quote button on my site. You can actually request a quote from the home page, uh, but it's pretty generic, and uh, it honestly looks pretty generic. And so, I was thinking about uh, when I used Yardbook, they had a really cool uh, quote request feature where it took you through a whole process. It was very professional, very polished. And uh, I decided, well, let me, let me take a little look at it. And um, it's just as nice as I remembered. <laughs> it's actually a lot nicer now. Um, and actually, the customization features make the, uh, I think it's the pro level uh, of Yardbook, worth it. Um, I think to you to fully customize this, you got to pay $35 a month. And honestly... I use Service Autopilot. I'm not going to leave Service Autopilot, but I was considering paying for Yardbook just so I could get this feature because it's it's really nice. So basically what it does is if a customer wants to request a quote from you, um, they type in their address and it's kind of like one of those deals, you know, when you start typing in your address and underneath it kind of pops up where, where it, what address it thinks you're saying. Um, it has that, they type in their address, then they say what kind of service they want, and you can you can decide what's going to show up on there. For me, I just put lawn mowing or other. Um, I don't, because I, I primarily want to use it for lawn mowing. And then, uh, so they click on that, they can select frequency, and then they can either guesstimate what size lawn they have, you know, it's got like a little couple of parameters, or... They can actually draw out their lawn on a map, which I love that feature because some customers, if they don't have yards, depending on their property, it can be a major pain in the neck. But it's also nice uh, to be able to see what areas they actually want you to mow. You know, because you have some customers that, you know, half their property is woods and there's no grass. So uh, it does that. And then the last one, it collects all their information, name, phone number, email address, home address all that fun stuff and when they hit send it'll send you an email notifying you that uh, somebody just filled that out and so what I so the way I've implemented this is I uh, this is a little technical if you don't if you don't know much about uh, uh, doing stuff on the internet it's okay I don't know much either everything I know I built my website and everything I did was self-taught so <clears throat> what I did is I created a web page and because this uh, estimate, um, this quote request feature, it only works by you, you have it's a web page that the customer goes to. It's not you can't put it on your website per se. So they have to go to this individual website, which is separate from your own site. Uh, with the paid version, you can you can change that, but um, I'm not paying for it at least not yet. Um, and so what I did is I created a web page on my site. I use WordPress. I then, I believe it's called wireframing, and I wireframed in that web page. Um, it's, it's very simple. If you're using WordPress, it's extremely simple to wireframe things in. Um, and so then what I did is made it so instead of, if a customer types in my website, doingcutandtrim.com, instead of it going to my home page, it actually takes them to the page that's got this quote request process on it. So when they type in dualandcutandtrim.com, first thing that comes up is request a quote, and they can do that. Or if they don't want to, they can just hit the home page, and it'll take them to the regular home page. Um, so this is like one of those features that, honestly, man, uh, I was looking around Yardbook in general, and man, if if Yardbook was where it is now. If it had been here a year ago, two years ago, uh, I would still be using Yardbook, and I would definitely be paying for it. Because, man, the features, it is worth the money. Yardbook is, uh, they got the free version, which is great. 
but the $35 a month version of yard book is awesome but this uh, quote process that they've set up it's it's great and the fact that you get access to that for free I mean that is by far the greatest feature on yard book and you know honestly and you know the cool thing is I set it up yesterday it's February we're not cutting grass for another six weeks probably um, most people aren't even thinking about getting their grass cut I already got a request for a quote on there and we've already been able to set it send it to the customer and uh, you know got it all taken care of so it's a really easy way to jumpstart uh, collecting lead information on your site so I just wanted to pass that on to you hopefully you can use this and uh, implement it in your business because I know a lot of guys use Yardbook and I think this is the number one feature on Yardbook um, and if you're not using Yardbook and you're just starting out you definitely should because Yardbook is it's a really good program man it's a really good program and it's very user-friendly uh, of the systems I've used, it's by far the most user-friendly. So, hope this helps you. Good luck this year.